today's focus on family. What began as a class project for a couple of Chicago fourth graders could end up on the holiday wish list for kids everywhere. Olivia Wasilewski and Brenna Sewers were discovered at Chicago Toy and Game Week's Young Inventor Challenge. For the game they created, it's called Ship of Treasures. Right here, their picture is on the front. And guess what? It just launched in Target stores this month. Congratulations, <laughs> ladies. We're joined also by Beth Engelman, who is part of the Chicago Toy and Game Week. So tell me a little bit about this concept where young people can design a game and then ending up having it in stores. I, it's unbelievable. So it is the Young Inventors Challenge. It is open to everyone. They have two divisions. They have a division from 6 to 11 year olds and then 12 to 18 year olds. And people all over the country? All over the country. If you're able to make it to the um, event, then you can actually display your game as these girls did, but you can also send in a video if you go to shytag.com. Registration is now through October 28th. You can do a two minute video and here's the cool thing. Everybody will get feedback from some of the industry's top insight, you know, leaders. And the feedback for you guys was, your game is pretty spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with this? Did you have the idea before? Well, well, we started talking about it in the beginning of the year, and then really started working on it when it was actually assigned. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, tell me how the game works here. So you start off by someone else turning around, and the other person hides all their treasures and their cannonballs which oh. are these little things, and everyone gets uh, four cannonballs and three treasures. three treasures of their color, and the X's are there, too, and then you need to hide them only under your color X's, and then there's these two dice. One's a direction die that has a wild and all the cardinal directions on it. And then wow. the number die, which just tells you how much. How this took faces. a lot of thought. Okay, and not only <laughs> are your pictures on the front of the box here, but there are actually pieces in the game that are designed to look like you ladies. Yes. yes. Let's this show the camera if we can. This one desi is designed to look like me, the green player. And, and as, the ones. so you find out that you win, and then after that, I mean, when you have a design, something you have to get a patent, and there's all kinds of legal things, that's all done for you? Yes. Yeah, Pressman took care of all the legal stuff for us. All right, so your friends and people all over the country are going to be able to maybe buy a game that you made, and you get all the proceeds? Are you making money on this also? Yes. We are making money, but Target's handling that. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so we, we've designed a game that may potentially pay for college tuitions, which I think <laughs> love. Right. is wonderful. <laughs> so do you guys want to be inventors or game designers? I mean, what is your goal for the future? Let's start with you. Well, it's definitely something I'm going to consider as a future career. And Brenna? Yeah, I'm probably going to I'm probably going to go into games for a job, possibly. Uh -huh. So this is something that really sparked maybe future careers for them. How many people are they competing against? That's such a good question. Actually, how do you guys have a sense? It's probably we're about like 200 entrants. Now it could be bigger because it's open to everybody. But the thing is, is that if you invent a good game, cream rises to the top. Right. So, but it's also a great opportunity. Everybody gets to get feedback. You get to meet people who are designers. You get to meet people who are own toy stores. So it's a really great opportunity. Plus, you guys probably met other inventors, too. We did. And you probably make friends that way, too. Plus, these guys actually met with Pressmen. And what did you guys say? Like, every week, you guys would have a conference Weekly call. meetings. They would be in charge of the design and changing it, too. Just like adults, right? <laughs> <laughs> Living in the business world. Exactly. Well, congratulations, ladies. I think it's fabulous. This year's Shy Tag Young Inventor Challenge is open for entries through October 28th. Check out shytag.com backslash YIC for more information. And new this year is the kids age 6 to 18 can submit their original toy or game idea via video, which Beth mentioned. So, hey, if you've got a young inventor at home, look how fabulously it turned out for these ladies. We'll have the link on our webpage as well at wgntv.com slash midday.